Hello and welcome to another Outside Inside Star Citizen, the show where we make fun of the developers uh, or the CAG developers uh, because that's the only thing that we have left because nothing works and there's so little progress and like they give us a lot of reason to make fun of them. So yeah, uh, let me roll. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna be angry this time. I don't know because I haven't watched it. I'm gonna watch it for you. So uh, yeah, let me roll the intro and let's watch Inside Star Citizen. Hello, my name is Grumpy. Our goal for uh, the last half year has been to figure out how to build additional cave archetypes. Not only trying to establish the visual, but also define a new workflow on how we can make better looking, better performing caves. The new workflow we've figured out for the caves is much more art artist friendly and to a point even where designers can make entire cave rooms without necessarily needing an artist to do any work. The designer could go in and build like a white box room and send this to the Houdini process, which would then return an almost finished cave room. For the first release, there will be new sand caves on Stamile, which is like the prime candidate being a very desert planet, but they will also be going on Magda, Ita, Wala, and Hurston itself. Okay, so we're gonna get caves. The caves, the same caves they've been talking about for like at least six months now. The sand caves, the different types of caves. Um, caves, yeah, okay. Caves, yay. Yay! One thing we really liked about the old caves was that they always had this feeling of claustrophobia and we tried to keep that in some regards. <laughs> You do understand that's the worst thing about those caves. Like, first off, you get lost in them. Uh, secondly, they're, I mean, caves are gonna be poorly lit. But in this game, like, lighting is just, like, uh, prohibited. Like, you can't have uh, lights, like, headlights or flashlights. I mean, you, you do have them, but they barely fucking work. And on top of that, like, yeah, claustrophobia and all that, like... <sighs> Yeah, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna do those. I'm gonna test them out. I'm gonna try them out, and then I'm gonna fuck off and, and never gonna play them again, because uh, yeah, uh, caves are never fun. Like the like the caves that we had were not fun, and these if they're gonna be the same but with sand, then uh, no, no, I'm not into that at all. Another thing that was always a concern the old ones was that like, it was very very bumpy to walk through them. So one thing we definitely improved on is walking through them and traversing the space is much smoother and feels nicer in general. Also, we added um, a lot more natural light sources, so you will have much more cinematic experiences going through them. All right, this is cool. I, I must say this is cool. It looks nice. Uh, having actual light in inside the caves uh, is is a good thing. Uh, it's a good sign. I think that they're like learning, they're adapting. Like traversing through those caves, like the, the first ones that we got was a pain in the ass and like the Clasher Cave is the prime example for that. Uh, although it has to be like a jumping puzzle, but it's, uh, it's just a pain in the ass because like none of the mechanics actually work in this game properly. So yeah, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks nice but that, that that's it it looks nice it looks the same as the caves that you showed us uh, like i don't know six months ago so why are you showing us this again I, I don't i don't understand it at all or is it maybe because you have no other content to showcase because 317.2 is still in the ptu and you're uh, fixing the gladius paints and all of that instead of fixing the the major bugs that we have for years now and uh 318 is like nowhere on the horizon so uh yeah you're just gonna like recycle the ISC because you gotta do it. So you're just gonna show us caves again, the same fucking caves that, is, that you showed us uh, six months ago. The first release, there will be no missions, but this hopefully very soon will be remedied shortly. And also for the first release, the caves will be walkable on foot only, like no vehicle entrances, no ship entrances, but the workflow is flexible enough to accommodate those once we get to those. Like this first release is mostly about 
showing the community the visual we've developed for this archetype. Now, wait, let me get one thing straight here. You just told us that it's easy for a developer to make a cave because, uh, yeah, like the art team doesn't need to get involved in all of that. And now you're telling us that we're not going to get any gameplay inside of those caves. Like, uh, excuse me, what? Hello? Uh, <sighs> this is why I stopped playing Star Citizen. This is basically why I stopped like playing Star Citizen because of this shit. Because like uh, lack of progress is being presented as progress, and everybody gets fucking excited, and everybody's gonna get excited over this as like it's the new fucking river. It's the it's the river all over again and why would it like they're gonna give us coordinates we're gonna go there and we're gonna like look at the cave and we're gonna explore amazing a fucking amazing after 11 years of development uh half a billion down the drain amazing but grumpy it's a sandbox game yes i know it's a sandbox game but also you need sand and, and a box for a sandbox game and like they're not giving us that and like we also need pve missions and like in the end once we get the gameplay there it's just gonna be the same fucking npcs like in in the first caves and yeah like why can't you do that with nav mashing because you have nav mashing now apparently like I, I'm gonna I'm getting angry I'm gonna stop and yeah that's it additional archetypes that are like we are scheduled to work on uh, in the next one year um, it's gonna be the the rock archetype which will replace the existing caves um, then we also have the aesthetic archetype which will fit in into Ariel and less parts of Stanton where like those those bubbling acid pools or salt or sulfur pools um, then there's also the ice archetype, which will be great for Microtech and the Timoons, for example. And the last one that's actually scheduled is the overgrown one, which will also work well on Microtech in the forests and uh, on, the, on the Hurston. Oh, more promises, more promises of what we will get in the future, uh, down the line in the next year or two or just around the corner as uh chris would say maybe you can also make like i don't know caves with like uh treasure inside of it and then you can make like caves with uh like subscriber items inside of them or maybe like a dead body of uh a sandworm or maybe like flying space whales that uh, deserted it from Crusader and then they landed this is just getting stupid like if you're getting hyped because of this like I, I don't know what to tell you that like cool cool at one point we will have an actual game that we can play but until then we're just gonna have a cave that's empty and another game that's trash and terrible and then they're gonna redo the, the trash and terrible cave and then they're gonna like great great Good progress, guys. Just keep keep on doing what you're doing, please. It's it's amazing. Just continue making this amazing progress that you're doing right now, because this is just awesome. Alpha 318 is slated to bring with it a number of new aspects to the persistent universe, from the new rivers. Rivers are amazing. The arena racetrack. <laughs> the racetrack <laughs> in a space game. A racetrack in a space game. Great. The Korea revamp. Oh, the Korea uh, revamp where, like, uh, yeah, we we're gonna shoot each other and nobody is gonna be able to clear his crime stat on a 100 player server. Great. The prison additions. Oh, the crab bucket prison. Amazing. And new sand caves that we've already discussed this quarter. Oh, the empty sand caves. Like, amazing. It's the same as the rivers. Great. To the cargo refactor, hull scraping, a persistent entity streaming, and more. That we'll be covering over our next five weeks. Oh, you mean the cargo refactoring, the hull scraping that we can't really test out right now, uh, even though you promised uh, that Trinity team is gonna drop into the PTU in June, but we still can't test it out. So uh, yeah, great, 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 amazing. Are you gonna talk about that uh, next, or are you gonna find something else to like talk about because you have nothing? But occasionally, we like to look even farther ahead and explore the earliest prospects of work that's only now just beginning. Ooh, more promises about the future and the potential of this game. I can't wait for this. Yay! And this week, we've got Star Citizen Live game director Todd Pappy to share with us plans for our new new player experience. The first in-game tutorial since Old Gunny tried to help us pilot our way out of the asteroid hangar 
oh so long ago. So the new players are actually getting a tutorial. Amazing, amazing. Uh, I hope that it's gonna be like an in-game tutorial, like a mission-based tutorial where like it's gonna take him through some things and all that. So uh, let, let's see what they have. Like I'm not excited for myself. I'm excited for the new guys that are gonna hop in and do the tutorial because uh, we had nothing. Like my first day, I think I I, I, I talked to Space, Space Tomato on his podcast about this. Like my first day in the game was, oof, it, it was really bad. So uh, yeah, this can be really good. The scale and scope of our game, there's a huge, huge learning curve. Obviously our community has been fantastic, you know, with the help and support for the new players coming on. I think with any game of any size, there needs to be some sort of new player experience to help break down those barriers. We used to have a uh, step-by-step, you know, and more story-based um, style uh, introduction, you know, to for players and wait Todd uh, I'm gonna let you finish but <laughs> Beyonce had the best video no uh, seriously w like um, are you talking about Squander 42 because that's the like uh, gameplay introduction uh, that was supposed to be for Star Citizen uh, right uh, are we okay I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna let you finish the issue with that is as soon as any new mechanics came online or anything like that then we'd have to go in and basically rebuild it and adjust it and the upkeep on it was really really time consuming and whose fault is that like if you decide on a thing like you should stick to it like if you want to do if you want to implement i don't know a game mechanic you should implement it to to the fullest and be like yeah that's it we're done we're gonna do something else now but no your staggered development is just like yeah we're gonna do a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of that and like you never have anything that's finished and then you're like yeah, this this is not working. Uh, we're just gonna redo it completely, and it's been going on for fucking eleven years now. So whose fault is that? Uh, it, it's probably ours. It's probably ours because we're the noise, right? With our new new player experience um, aspect that we're we're working towards, it's really taking the player not only from basically the front end and having choices there so that the player can either opt in or opt out but it's training them in their hab okay it's training them to their first store okay that's, it's that's training cool. them over to the spaceport how to get out of the hangar get into your ship you know where do you need to click in the cockpit yeah sure then from Funny. there uh doing some very light missions to basically kind of get you up to speed with ship combat as well as FPS combat. Right now, the teams are working towards uh, FPS HUD that um, is being built for S42, so that it's got uh, basically contextual hints that, that are up all the time and, and you're in different states. So it's, it's basically um, player interaction experience that that we're working on and and we've spec'd out you know for s42 as as well as for the persistent universe are you fucking are you serious tooltips you're you're like making a five minute segment in the isc about tooltips about a fucking contextual hints i'm done Thank you for watching and thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel, there's going to be a link down in the description of the video so you can support me doing this, whatever this is, being fucking pissed off uh, because what? And uh, yeah, doing ship giveaways and uh, buying equipment for this studio and all that. But I, oh my God, my head fucking hurts now. My brain actually hurts now. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, if you want, <laughs> this is the weirdest fucking outro ever. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, support the channel, there's going to be a link down in the info section of the video, if, like show more, whatever. And yeah, if you want to do it, you're, you're an amazing guy. If not, I don't know, but uh, you're still amazing. But um, yeah, I, I just can't. I, I can't anymore. Anyway, don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space and uh, bye. Love ya. I no, no, no. No.
No. Fuck that. No.